All right, yeah, welcome back to the greatest game of all time. We're back with some more Two Point Hospital. So, where were we? We're still in the first level. Your We're kind of. Is important to us. Please try to be comfortable. Yep, be comfortable or else. Yeah, we're still trying to cure lightheadedness, so we've just got this last patient in here and hopefully he doesn't die. Good news, we've cured 20 patients in total. Each cure boosts our reputation, will attract even more patients to the hospital. I'm wondering if I want to set this area out as kind of a. Um, a nice little waiting area. Let's have like three benches along there. Oh. Oh no, we killed the lightheadedness patient. Dang it. I guess as we get more research in, we'll uh, get a little bit better than that. So we're going to get a leaflet stand and a bin there. And then just get some plants in the middle as well. Have this as a nice little waiting area. Uh, let's flip that around. Ah, oh, dang, I can't put the plant there. That's fine. Do something like that. Can I get a snack machine in there? Not quite. Hmm, there must be something I can fit in there. I guess what I could do is I could move this bin into the middle here and then get another leaflet stand and slot it in there just for that wonderful symmetry. All right, this is the patient we need to survive. Come on. You can do it. So we're actually earning seventeen thousand uh, dollars. Oh, he's died again. Hmm. Is there a way we can change that? In like, uh, there used to be a way that you could set like how you would treat some people. So if there was like a ten percent chance that they'd live, you just automatically sent them home. Finance tab allows you to access the business overview screen for a deep dive in all aspects of the hospital. You can adjust the prices you charge in the hospital and take out a loan if you need more cash. Yeah, we don't need to do that. This is the staff, patients and illnesses. I can pretty much get a reasonable idea of that. In the visualization modes. View the world with a state-of-the-art hospital administrator goggles designed by Bungle Technologies. These high-tech spectacles use the advanced optical sensors and a patented privacy invasion algorithm to analyze the state of people and items within the field of view. Uh, through careful calibration, scientists have been able to harness the powers of this extraordinary invention to detect such things as how much someone needs the toilet or how much they want a packet of crisps. Inspiring stuff. Use these visualization modes to analyze the state of the hospital environment, the moods and needs of the patients and staff, and the maintenance level of items in the hospital. So, attractiveness. We need to up it a little bit around here so we could get... Let's leave this uh, on and then we'll have like a, a plant there just to green this out a little bit. Can we get a... Hmm, we can get a plant there which makes this one beautiful looking toilet. And, yeah, we'll leave that bit there. Other than that, this place looks quite nice. Get a plant there. And plant there. Just make sure this place looks wonderful. Oh, there's no plants in here. Are you kidding me? There we go. That'll do. Alright, what else? Health of people? I'm assuming this is good health. Yes. What is neutral? Oh, staff. That would make sense. Ooh, a private message. Dear hospital administration, we've got one star hospital. Nice. It's been awarded the one star rating that's out of a possible three. By the two point health ministry, I have retrieved your file from the bit, my bin to celebrate. <laughs> Continue to develop your enterprise in Hogsport for further esteem and trinkets. If you believe that you're capable of more, alternatively, run before you can walk and begin to expand your organization by opening a new hospital in Lower Bullocks. The choice is yours. Ooh, so we've unlocked a lightheadedness poster. So that's a decoration, I'm assuming, and we can now go to lower bullocks. I think we'll, hmm, we could continue this one off, but I think we'll actually go to a different map. Shine, everyone, and if you happen to be in lower bullocks this morning, watch out for the gathering of druids down the Grog Bend's ring. In a total coincidence, the town will also pay host to a psychology convention today. Should all work out nicely. 
Ooh. So we've got our totally not Stonehenge over here. So we actually get to look at the map a little bit, actually. Oh, no, we don't. It's locked off. But the map is huge. Like, every one of these towns, I'm assuming this is one. This is one. Um, they've all got their own hospitals, and it goes out quite wide from the demos that I've seen. So very excited about that. All right, let's get to level two, shall we? Expand the organization by establishing a second hospital. So I've heard that you actually, uh, it benefits you to go back to certain hospitals from time to time as well. So um, we might have a research area or something like that. And we'd want to go back there to uh, do more research for cures that we might not have in other hospitals and things like that. Staff qualifications. Welcome to Lower Bullocks. It's a lovely little village with a big problem. A significant proportion of the population believes themselves to be rock stars. There's only one thing that can cure this. Psychiatry. Only doctors with a psychiatry qualification will be able to diagnose and treat people in a psychiatry room. We've managed to find one, but you should keep your eyes peeled for, a jo for job applications uh, with psychiatry and other useful qualifications. So we've got our receptionist and our first GP office. It's kind of nice that they've set this up because actually it stops you from doing like square grids because now I have to build around it, things like that. So a nice GP's office there. Do really like the design of that. It's much better and it has a bookcase in it. Ooh. All right, so let's get ourselves some diagnosis rooms along the side here, I guess. We also want to make sure that we get psychiatry in there as soon as possible as well. Maybe split the sides off here for some special rooms. I don't know. We'll start off with general diagnosis, though. Let's get some sweet, sweet diagnosis. Actually, the size of this area here kind of makes me want to have something different in there. Like the ward, maybe. Yeah, stop editing this room. Mm. Let me pause for a second and just decide where I want to go. I won't be pausing, like, mid-game or anything like that. It's just I want to... I want to make sure we got the right stuff. So we could do like a ward uh, along here and then add to make it an L shape or something like that. That might be quite cool. Nice two wide gap should make it suitable. Yeah, let's do something like that. All right, so let's get the ward in first. Invalid corner location. All right, fair enough. We can put it in here though, that's still fine. So the nurse's station, we'll put it over here somewhere. Let's use control to make sure that it's in the right spot for us. And then we want two changing screens and then we want to fill this with beds. So let's get a bed in there. I wish it showed you the, the, um, the feet icon a little bit more. I guess we'll be doing like a grid thing anyway. Trousers, people. Trousers. Ooh. They ought to be worn at all times. Mm. They protect against sunburn and knobbly knee syndrome. Take heed, dear listeners. Let's get it in like that. This feels like it should have one there, but alas, we'll have to fill that with something else instead. Let's get a bin round the back here for our nurse. And let's get some plants in there as well. So plant there. Plant in this corner. Are you guys going to accept a plant? You are. All right. Nice and pretty. All right. We want what else? Some lockers. You can get a locker back here. Looks a little cramped. Maybe it is. Oh, need to use that control to get that perfectly in that spot there. God, I love this game. Let's get a lightheadedness poster in there as well. Look at that. It's not where they get uh, taught, but uh, cured. That should be fine. All right. Ooh, we got our first psychiatry patient. <laughs> Look at the teeth. Oh my god. That is beautiful. All right. So we need uh, we need our nurse. I need to do this a little bit faster. Bobby Brick. Bobby Brick. Weak bladder, inspiring, forgets names, etc. He's got a lot of bad traits, but he's also a three star, so I'm just going to shove him in there. And uh, let's get the psychiatry sorted. So, seems like it's going to be the focus of this particular um, 
cut that off there so we got this nice symmetry here. Seems like it's going to be the focus of this particular level, so let's make sure that we get some good stuff in there. So I want a nice corner bit there. The armchair can then sit there and you can have a little chat. What else have we got? A lightheadedness poster. Let's have that there. Oh, it's even got a fireplace. Oh my god. Let's make sure we get the bins in. And I really want some, like, some stuff that we don't have. Like the bookcases. You know what? Now we have a bookcase. Would you look at that? Alright. Bookcases along the back. Let's get some plants in here as well, because nothing makes people happier than life. Okay. Filing cabinet seems weird. Let's just leave that there. So we've got a doctor with psychiatry, I assume. We've been contacted by Bungle Technologies, who run various research hospitals across the county. They have an interesting proposition for us. Their psychiatry license was recently revoked due to an incident with... Well, it's best not to go into it. They want us to send us psychiatry patients, and in exchange will allow us to buy some of their latest technology. Until our organization acquires a research license, we need all the technology we can get our hands on. Fair enough. So we need to build up the hospital a bit um, while we deal with some psychiatry patients. So can I get a doctor, doctor with psychiatry. psychiatry? There we go. Jürgen Bain. And this one, I'm assuming you're also a psychiatrist. You are. But you are my GP for now. Okay, we need some benches as well, I feel. Love that voice. Drink another dear and another glass. Uh, let's get something in this corner as well, like a, a couple of leaflet stands, keep them interested. It's, al it's already pretty much uh, kitted out with a lot of stuff as well. Ooh, Drug Mixer Volume 2, new, new technology. Bungle Technologies have given access to the latest technology, a pharmacy drug mixer upgrade, and a general diagnosis easy scan upgrade. <laughs> If we buy uh, these for our machines, they will become more powerful, helping us diagnose and cure more patients. To upgrade a machine, you need a janitor with a mechanics qualification. Select the machine and a qualified janitor will upgrade it. Okay. Well, we don't have either of those right now anyway, so let's just make sure we're benched out. And upgrade a machine. Yeah, so we need some more rooms. We need a pharmacy. Which, as I mentioned, I think we'll bring off to the side here. That's a real small room, but maybe we can get like a toilet in there or something. That might be worthwhile. Okay, usual bin. Let's get some plants in the back. This one definitely needs a fire extinguisher. Put those along the side there. Ooh, can't fit that there. There we go. And... Some windows, I guess. I think I'm going to put something here. Oh, this might be a pathway, actually. So, yeah, I can afford to put some windows in. Let's get some in there. And we need a nurse. Uh, higher. Nurses. Thomasina eruption. Well. Well, well. Ooh. Pharmacy, Pharmacy management nurse. right there. That's what you want. Let's have a look at our messages, because we're uh, falling behind on that. This is the upgrading machine one, yeah. New illness, lazy bones. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, lazy bones. Skeletal fatigue caused by a lack of calcium in the diet. Upon diagnosis, the patient should be immediately rushed to a ward, where they must sleep for several days whilst being fed milk and cookies by a nurse. We'll send the patient for treatment in our ward. So we've got one set up already, uh, so that should hopefully be good. We can upgrade our drug mixer, yes. So we want to upgrade, there we go. And we also need to hire a janitor as well with mechanics, that's the one. So we'll set her there, eventually she'll go and sort that out. I think maybe we want two janitors eventually anyway, so we might as well get like Bert Husk to deal with ghosts. There we go. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, these guys are brilliant. Absolutely amazing. We've got so many of them though. Maybe we want two psychiatry departments for this area. That actually might be seriously worth an investment. Uh, let's get a toilet in here as well. Uh, we did want one. Hopefully it fits in this. Yeah, it's a nice little gap here is going to make for a small toilet area. So let's get a, a tiny toilet. There we go. We want a sink. It might be a little too small actually. Now we can get a hand dryer in there. That's okay. And oh, for a fun day out for all it's very cramped, but Come to we're going to handle it. There we go. Stunt monkeys. <laughs> Stunt monkeys. Yeah. Hmm. Tigers. What? Crockle Bay Zoo. Almost no visitor fatalities for two and a half weeks. <laughs> oh my day. god. The radio's great. This is I want the symmetry there. This is bugging me. Let me move that. Let's get another plant in there. So I want to fill this green area up as well. There we go. I think this still wants to be like in the corner over here, but I needed to move it out of the way. Okay. Looking fine. Uh, we need to upgrade that machine. Yep, we're doing that. Rooms that we're missing. General diagnosis is one of them. Uh, where are we going to fit that? Can we get it in maybe this gap here? Yeah, it needs to be a little wider than that. Which means awkward corridors. Gotta hate those awkward corridors. Hmm. Could put it in this corner here, I suppose. Fill that out there, and then we can have a waiting room here. A waiting area. So, let's get... Door there. Let's get some windows. Eh. Can I, uh, I can't control the way the windows get placed, unfortunately. New technology. Great, a machine is complete. Make sure we got a few fire extinguishers dotted around to keep the precious machine safe. Bungle Technologies are grateful for our continued support with their psychiatry patients and have given us access to one more of their machines, the Extractor Pan. This high-tech gadget is great for removal of unwanted kitchen utensils. Look out for people in need of this. Continue expanding the hospital to unlock more technologies. Buying another plot of land nearby will also give us more space to develop the hospital. Well, right now we don't need more land, so I won't concern myself with that just yet. Okay, so I do want our tech. It might be a bad idea to put a, a door all the way at the other end, but <laughs> this guy's flexing. Does he have like a flexing skill? I'm going to have to check that out at some point. You heard it here first, folks. Alright, let's get some filing cabinets. Get a nice plant in there as well. And... Hmm. You, can put, <laughs> you can block the window with that. Let's get one there. I feel like we're missing something in the middle, but this might be where uh, things like medicine cabinets and things go when we uh, upgrade a little bit. For now, we'll just stick with that. Look at doctors. Another psychiatry and a general practice. GP diagnosis skills upgrade. That seems good. Green fingers. Likes to water plants when idle. Founding member of Hogspot Grammar School's Limerick Society. Let's do it. All right. Constructing new buildings. We can construct new hospital buildings by purchasing plots of land nearby. I think I've seen this before. So you can build um, over areas surrounding the hospital. So we can have new areas, but they've got like different dimensions to build around and stuff like that. A lot of fun. We know all about this, though. Staff challenge from George, George Leopard. Uh, he wants us to cure 10 patients in the next 90 days, and we get plus 20 happiness and 10 kudosh. I'm not usually one for suggestions, but the other day I had this great idea, and I can't stop thinking about it. What if we were to, like, cure some people? <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, I can accept this. 90 days to cure patients is what we're doing anyway, so let's get that one done. So we've got a time-sensitive cure um, thing now. Ooh, we've got somebody with... Uh, what's this one called? I can't remember the name of this illness. We might not have unlocked it, though. All right, rooms. Do we have Pan's Lab <laughs> with the extractor pan? 
brilliant. Oh, it's just too small for that area. Okay, let's get it in this area here. And yes, okay. A little bit of a tight corridor, but... Oh man, this thing's huge. Alright, let's get that in there. That's the only thing that we're, is required. Let's make sure that this is a spectator spot. Get some windows in there. Usual bin. Let's get some plants in the back. Oh yeah. Nice light-headed poster. This one looks like it needs many. Many, many. Oh, damn. Oh, no, no. Oh, bugger. I've done it now. There we go. Eh. Some of this is a little finicky. Can get that in there. I just want to select this. This. Right here. There we go. Alright. And now I should be able to move that back. Nope. Still need to move this. Come on, game. Work with me. Come on. Oh, oh. Oh. There we go. Stick it there. Okay, and consider that done. Does this make a require a doctor? Yeah. Oh, it already has one. Okay. Hmm. 30 out of 90 days. We've only caught, cured two patients. Dang it. I think we need another doctor anyway. Let's get you. You seem good at diagnosis, which is something that we're going to need. Brilliant. You just magnet the crap out of her. This is a beautiful game. I'm loving every second of it. Alright, let's get a drinks machine. Oh, not really there. We can't fit it in that gap either. Can I get one right there? Nope. Alright, so we're going to have a drinks machine there. Let's get a snacks machine right there. Some benches. Let's get one right in the middle. There we go. And same goes for this area here. There's nothing that we can really go down that area though, so that's kind of a, a bad area for us, sadly. Let's get some exciting leaflet stands. And call it that. Bringing talk, music, and news to the whole of Two Point County. Ooh, halfway. Listening to us from the newly opened hospital. Just turn up that volume because nothing drowns out the sound of sick people like the voice of a world-class DJ. Coming up next, forty-two hours. Oh, we don't have a staff room. Background band. Enjoy. Staff room is a big problem that we don't have. All right. We're also running quickly out of space as well. I think this is going to have uh, room for a place, but until then, we're going to have to deal with what we've got. Let's get that there. Let's have an armchair in the corner. Oh no! Right there. Uh, drinks machine, snacks machine on the back here. There we go bookcase for right next to the chair and the plant of observation somewhere in the middle there we go let's get a, a bin in the corner I don't know if we need it but apparently uh, staff litter so there we go need a nurse in the ward I don't think we've bought enough nurses uh, let's get Ward maintenance. Seems about right. Let's get you in there. Ooh, we've got a big line up here for GPs. So actually this area here is going to have to be a new GP's office. Should have caught that sooner. That might be uh, why we're not curing as many patients as we may have thought. So I'm just going to get this one quickly. Quickly set up. There we go. Bin. And let's get a bookcase in there as well. And a window. Hire a doctor. Uh, let's get Tiffany Fox. She's hangry, inspiring. The friend that brings crisps. All right, that's the doctor I need. Three more patients. We got ten days to do it. 
problem is we've only just built our staff room, so we might have a huge backlog of uh, staff wanting to go and rest. Deluxe clink required. Uh, get patient to wait. We've already got one. Staff promotion. Yeah, let's uh, let's give you a little boost in funds. Promote you. We've got Bogwarts. Yeah, we've seen Bogwarts before. It's new for this hospital, but let's bump you up to happy. And see what we can do. Hopefully we've sorted out the bottleneck now that we've uh, made a new GP's office. I think you always want two. You certainly did in theme hospital anyway. Let's get some benches outside there as well. It's very important that they don't have to wait nine miles away. There we go. Two more patients. We might actually fail that. I didn't think that that was uh, a problem. We might have too many janitors. Several are currently idle. Well, if they're idle, that's good for us. Ouch. Unfortunately, we failed to complete the request. Ugh, we didn't get any rewards. We didn't get punished, though, so... There's no uh, no risk in not taking it, I guess. Alright, we might need to buy a new area. I seem to have built a little inefficiently. Because we've now got this space here, and I'm not sure we can fill it with anything. Let's see. Build that, build that, build that, build that. We've got the ward, general diagnosis. We actually have everything. Uh, so we were okay for now. Found so what do we want to fill that area with? Maybe like a, a waiting area? <laughs> hmm. I don't know. This toilet might be a little small as well. Generally based on the fact that this is going to be the main area to enter as well. Ooh, health inspection. Henry Jobsworth, the county's foremost health and safety inspector, has informed us that he'll be visiting us for an inspection soon. Mr. Jobsworth adds that we'll recognise him by his yellow helmet, as well as his face. <laughs> he'll be arriving soon. A good report will help our reputation. Okay. And a deluxe clinic required. Uh, get patient to wait, because we've got one. That might have been a bit of an outdated comment there. Game. I feel like this this wall is lacking something. Own two buildings. That's actual requirement. Oh, what happened? Treatment failed. Ah, so we actually tried to treat him, and it didn't work. What were we treating him for? Lazy bones. Yeah, it's just lazy in general. Fair enough. Makes sense. Uh, yes. Yeah, so. We can <laughs> destroy this children's park in order to build a new plot. I think that's the first thing I want to destroy, not this construction site. I just want to destroy the dreams and fun for children. Let's do that. All right, while we're waiting for that to do its thing, because it does take some time, let's increase the attractiveness of our hospital a little bit, I guess. So let's get some plants. Does a um, bookcase increase attractiveness? Just reduces boredom. All right. Another light-headed poster does increase uh, attractiveness. So we could fit that in somewhere. Could fit that right behind a bench, actually. Interesting. We can cover a window. Okay. Reduces litter. We don't actually have a litter problem, so that's good. Hmm. This is sorely lacking some attractiveness, so let's get some plants along here. There we go. Something needs to go there as well. We don't really have a, um, a center of the room kind of uh, beauty object, do we? Arcade machine, nice. Sweet dispenser reduces hunger. Magazine rack reduces boredom. A yucca plant. Hmm. Doesn't seem like the area for an eye test thing. Rorschach poster. Mm. <laughs> a chair. Just a random chair. Yeah, we'll probably find something as we go. Health inspector is arriving. Oh, here he is. Oh, we've not got a receptionist. Hey, receptionist. Get back to work. We've got a backlog here. I might hire a backup assistant, actually, for that reason alone. One that might be a little bit more likely to stick around. You are customer service, but you've got speed. Speed seems like an important skill. 
Maintenance I'll bring you down there. Need, water. need to cure one more patient in Pan's lab. Plants need water. Uh, that's, uh, that's a thing. Good to know. Can we still um, tell our janitors specifically what to do? Oh. Are we having an argument with Dr. Dwayne Force? Oh, this is the guy that dances, isn't he? Energized and happy. Oh, you're romantic. So we earned 25,000. Nice. Myself, we have a new area as well. Which is uncanny because I've never heard it before. Or have I? Ooh. Well, more catchy music coming right up. Water Wednesdays. All right. So we don't actually don't really have a use for this room yet until I'm guessing we cure this patient with Pan's lab and then maybe we'll get sort of a, a scripted I'm going to give you stuff kind of deal. Are we just, uh... Why is there a timer on your thing? Is that until you're leaving, or...? One... Or is that until you're ready for... Oh, he's rage quitting! Oh! You are a doctor, right? Why did you leave? Hmm... That's interesting. Does this need... might need repairing, I guess. Certainly worth a try, isn't it? Really bugs me, I can't get a seat in there. We've got, like, chairs here, so it's not like he was... struggling for places to sit, but I guess... Ooh, we've had a death. Dang it. There's a drug mixer. Maintenance you are thirsty. Does not belong in the corridors. Oh no. I just walk right past. Ooh. Oh god. We've got a a ghost. But at least Bert Husk is going to deal with our ghost problem. Captured Melanie Fiddle. Alright. So we did have someone thirsty here. Um Yeah, we're actually struggling with people not drinking anything. So let's get a drinks machine in. I thought we'd had plenty, but apparently not. So a drinks machine there. We got one over here as well. It's just not enough. That's a drinks machine. The price is too much. A uh, default. Let's uh we've got one there though. I feel like we're covered on drinks machines, it's just nobody's drinking. It's very odd. Alright, we've got some backlogged of backlogs of things to talk about. So Jurgen Bain needs a uh, a nice little promotion. Current salary, new salary. Yeah. I'm not sure the point when we want to stop giving them uh, promotions, but... Award emer emergency. Four patients with lazy bones. Uh, 90 days to do it. Yeah, let's take it on. And earn $100,000 in 90 days. George, I don't know if that's possible, to be honest. Um, I'm going to turn that one down because I feel like we only... Yeah, we're currently in a loss situation right now, so I don't think we can actually manage that one. And... Oh, Deluxe Clinic. Oh, God. I, I keep mentioning that, and I keep thinking it's the extractor pan area. It's this room. Can we fit it? We can fit it. Okay. Does this work anymore, though? That's the problem. Dang, I've been letting that uh, run on for quite some time, haven't I? Let's get you in there, actually. I feel like we're wasting space by not adding this room. We'll be right back. There we go. Let's get a bin in there. An extinguisher in the back. An extinguisher over the side. Plant. Can't get a plant in there, unfortunately. You can get one along the side here. Oh, we can't pathfind our way there. Okay. This definitely needs some lightheadedness posters though. Maybe just one in the back. Uh oh. Give me that. Alright. Yeah, we've been lacking that one for quite some time. This requires a doctor? Yeah, a doctor required. Okay, so let's get a... Mm, 
Samantha Broccoli. There we go. God, I wonder how many we've actually rage quitted in that time. Okay, so we've got these guys with uh, alarms over their heads. Means that we need to bump them up in the queue and get them into the pharmacy, uh, the ward, sorry. We can do them all at the same time, so hopefully we're uh, we're all good there. Close to award season. Inspection report. Uh, we received 5,000, 8 reputation and 10 kudos. Nice. And a promotion for you. There we go. We need one po more person with Pan's Lab. Ooh. Award ceremony. Nice. Oh yeah. Doo, doo, doo. What did we get? Let's open it. Do we get Doctor of the Year? Yeah, we did. All right. Who was it? Dwayne Force. Nice. All right. Nurse of the Year. Yes. Sweet. Five thousand gold. Uh, gold. Dollars. Next one, Janitor of the Year. Did we get that one? No, we didn't. Dang. Assistant of the Year. In future, I'll probably skip all of this, but for now, it's very prestigious. I'm enjoying my first time. Jumbo Megacorp won Assistant of the Year. Employer of the Year. Come on, I've definitely got that one. I keep giving people promotions. Yeah! All right. Sweet. No deaths. I can skip right past that one. Definitely killed plenty of people there. The old foundation, or the orb foundation. One of those. Most prestigious hospital? We gotta have that one, right? Yes! Oh my god, we're doing so well. Patient's Choice Award. Do the patient's lovers. We've been trying to keep them happy. We should have done. Yeah! Alright, so we got plenty of kudosh, plenty of reputation, plenty of money there. Sweet. Definitely want to get our hands on all of the rewards at some point, though. Hmm. Let's see. Some nice, nice stuff there. Some nice graphs that I'm glossing over right now. Oh my god, there's quite the, quite the log of things there. That is a lot to walk up, look up on. We can upgrade the easy scan. Oh yeah, for the uh, diagnosis room that nobody's using. We can upgrade that. I should really check my finances to make sure that we are uh, making money and trying to improve our profit. Currently we're earning 10,000, so that's good. Uh, you should be, yeah. You should be in the queue. I guess we're waiting on, uh, waiting on a backlog of Patients right now. Patients are just as likely to die from oh, I failed his treatment. Pandemic. <laughs> Pandemic with the extractor pan in Pan's Labyrinth. Beautiful. Can this be upgraded? No. How about this? No. Anything else? What about the psychiatric couch? No. Did you know if a machine isn't maintained properly, it can catch fire, a janitor will do something. Okay, we actually managed to get our one star hospital, so we've unlocked Flottering, Cardiology, and the Deluxe O Lux 2. Dear hospital administrator, we've got a one star hospital. Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a one star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. Like lightning, you have made mockery of your detractors by striking a second time. You are commended on your endeavours into the inner workings of machines and the human mind, respectively. Now, go focus on your budding two-headed empire, or add a third head by opening a new hospital in Flottering. It is currently not much of an empire. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I think that is where we're going to end off today's episode, and we'll probably go to Flottering after this one. 
I think once we've done Flottering and we've got the one star there, maybe we'll go back to the first hospital and see if we can get two stars and we'll go back and forth through that. We'll see. I'm not sure how I want to proceed through this game. All I know is that I'm having a blast and I hope you guys are too as well. If you are, make sure to like and subscribe. It's a great way to let me know that you're enjoying the series and it helps out the channel a great deal in the process as well. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.